Sultanpur National Park Hindi, Sultanapura Rastriya Vanyajiva Abhayaranya formerly Sultanpur Bird Sanctuary is located at Sultanpur 15 km from Gurgaon, Haryana and 50 km from Delhi in India. Introduction Sultanpur Bird Sanctuary is a very popular national park located in Gurgaon district in Haryana state. Sultanpur is located 40 km 25 miles from Da'al Akwan in Delhi and 15 km 9.3 miles from Gurgaon on the Gurgaon – Faruknagar Road. This bird sanctuary, ideal for birding and bird watchers, is best visited in winters when a large number of migratory birds come here. Haryana government has carried out a number of development works at Sultanpur Bird Sanctuary like construction of mounds, widening of paths, and digging four tube wells. Efforts are being made to improve vegetation in the area by planting more trees, which are popular with the birds like Ficus spp. Acacia nilotica, Acacia tortilis, Barris and Neem etc. Among approximately 1,800 migratory bird species out of total 10,000 species of birds in the world, nearly 370 species migrate to India due to seasonal changes, including 175 long-distance migration species that use the Central Asian flyway route which also include Amur falcons, Egyptian vultures, plovers, ducks, storks, ibises, flamingos, jacanas, pashards and sociable lapwing. Among these approximately 250 species of birds are found at Sultanpur Bird Sanctuary. Some of them are resident, while others come from distant regions like Siberia, Europe and Afghanistan. Some of the resident birds are, common hoopoe, paddyfield pipit, purple sunbird, little cormorant, Eurasian thick knee, grey franklin, black franklin, Indian roller, white-throated kingfisher, spot-billed duck, painted stork, white ibis, black-headed ibis, little egret, great egret, cattle egret, India crested lark. Every year more than 100 migratory bird species arrive at Sultanpur in search of feeding grounds and to pass the winter. In winter Sultanpur Bird Sanctuary provides a picturesque panorama of migratory birds such as Siberian cranes, greater flamingo, ruff, black-winged stilt, common teal, common greenshank, northern pintail, yellow wagtail, white wagtail, northern shoveler, rosy pelican. It is closed from 1 April to 30 September. Climate. This bird sanctuary, ideal for birding and bird watchers, is best visited in winters when a large number of migratory birds come here. Sultanpur has the typical North Indian climate of harsh summers up to 46 degrees Celsius and cold winters low of up to 0 degrees Celsius. Rainy season is short, from July to the end of August. History Topic. Medieval history Sultanpur is named after Chohan Rajput Raja Sultan Singh Chohan, a great grandson of Harsh Dev Singh Chohan. Harsh was one of 21 sons of King Sangat Singh Chohan. Raja Sangat Singh was a great grandnephew of King Prithviraj Chohan, reign, c. 1178 to 1192 CE according to historical recorded by British Raj Indian civil servant and historian Henry Elliot 1817 to 1907 Raja Sultan Singh Chohan established Sultanpur in 1474 Vikram Samwit 1417 or 1418 CE after wresting it from Silur Muslims Silur Muslims, a branch of Oghuz Turks, originated from the invader Mahmud of Ghaznis CE nephew Ghazi Syed Salar Masood buried in Barach in Uttar Pradesh. Sultanpur was the biggest village covering 52,000 bigas of land under Faruknagar and many of the present-day villages around it have originated as Dhanis i.e. temporary farmers' shelters within the Lal Dora. Revenue boundary of Sultanpur, the region around Sultanpur was called Dunhati. Sultanpur was the centre of salt production for use in Delhi and the United Provinces of British India till the late 19th century exporting annually 250,000 quintals over the Rajputana Malwa Railway. 
The Faruknagar Railway Station and meter gauge railway train service was started on 14 February 1873, and there were a couple of railway sidings at Sultanpur for loading salt into the train wagons. Sultanpur had an ancient mosque dating back to the period of Sultan of Delhi, Giyazud Din Balban 1200-1287 CE. Two slabs of red sandstone bearing Arabic inscriptions taken from this mosque are fixed on the southern wall of the Jama Masjid at Faruknagar. The foundation of this mosque was clearly visible a few decades ago as per old residents of Sultanpur. Salt was produced by extracting brine from about 40 saline water wells using bullocks and drying in open plots. Since salt was one of the major sources of government revenue, the office of the salt superintendent at Sultanpur supervised the levy of two rupees tax per mand. With the levy of the heavy salt tax and acquisition of the Sambar Salt Works in Rajputana by the British Indian government the Sultanpur salt became uneconomical and by 1903–04 the salt industry was struggling for survival with salt export having fallen to 65,000 mons leading to severe setback to the economy of the Sultanpur area. Finally, in 1923 the British shut down the office of the salt superintendent, had all the mounds of salt thrown back into the wells and shut down the salt industry leading to considerable economic misery to the people. <laughs> Establishment of bird sanctuary As a bird sanctuary it was the find of Peter Jackson 1926 to 2016 CE famous British ornithologist and honorary secretary of the Delhi Birdwatching Society who wrote to Prime Minister of India Indira Gandhi founder of the society in 1970 about the need to declare the Sultanpur Jeel near Delhi a bird sanctuary and she asked him to take her there she had to cancel at the last minute, but later instructed then Chief Minister of Haryana, Bansi Lal, to protect the wetland. As a result, the area was declared a bird sanctuary in 1972. On 13 July 1989, the reserve was upgraded to a national park. It has an area of 1.43 square kilometers among approximately 1800 migratory bird species out of total 10000 species of birds in the world nearly 370 species migrate to India due to seasonal changes including 175 long distance migration species that use the central asian flyway route and among those over 250 species of birds have been sighted at this protected area Earlier before the construction of bands and drainage areas around Sultanpur remained waterlogged and attracted a large numbers of migratory birds and hunters, many from the diplomatic corps at Delhi. Now however the bird sanctuary is artificially revived using pumped water from the Yamuna River. Visitors are required to pay a 5 rupees entry fee and show identity card to visit Sultanpur National Park. Resident birds Resident birds include the common hoopoe, paddyfield pipit, purple sunbird, little cormorant, Indian cormorant, common spoonbill, grey franklin, black franklin, Indian roller, white-throated kingfisher, spotbill, painted stork, black-necked stork, white ibis, black-headed ibis, little egret, great egret, cattle egret, crested lark, red-vented bulbul, rose-ringed parakeet, red-wattled lapwing, shikra, Eurasian collared dove, red collared dove, laughing dove, spotted owlet, rock pigeon, magpie robin, greater cuckoo. Weaver bird, bank mina, common mina, and green bee eater. Topic: <inaudible> Migratory birds. Every year, over a hundred migratory bird species visit here to feed. In winter, the sanctuary provides as a panorama of migratory birds such as Siberian crane, greater flamingo, ruff, black winged stilt, common teal, common greenshank, northern pintail, yellow wagtail, white wagtail, northern shoveler, rosy pelican, spot billed pelican, gadwall, wood sandpiper, spotted sandpiper, Eurasian widgeon, black tailed godwit, spotted redshank, starling, bluethroat, and long billed pipit. In summer about 11 species of migratory birds such as Asian coal, black-crowned night heron, gray heron, Indian golden oriole, knob-billed duck, blue-cheeked bee-eater, blue-tailed bee-eater and cuckoos come here. In addition to the many birds, animals such as blue bull and black buck are also seen here. Trees which are popular with the birds like Acacia nilotica, Acacia tortilus, Berberus and neem have been planted.
Topic: Facilities. The park is a popular picnic spot for residents of New Delhi and the NCR National Capital Region, especially during the winter migration months when thousands of birds visit here from across the globe. There are four watch towers located at different points, an education and interpretation center, a library, films, slides and binoculars for the benefit of bird lovers. A walk along the perimeter of the park takes up to two hours. There is a room dedicated to the memory of Dr. Salim Ali, which contains his bust, photographs, write-ups, and some of his personal effects. There is public parking, bathrooms, drinking water facilities and a children's park in the reserve. For those wishing to stay overnight, the park also has a well-appointed guest house with all amenities. Timings, 7 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. If anyone desires to enter the park before 7 a.m., he, she has to obtain entry permit, one day in advance from date of entry from Divisional Wildlife Officer Office Gurgaon 0124-222-2272. No more than 10 people will be allowed on any day before 7 a.m. Note, park is closed on Tuesdays. The park is 50 kilometers 31 miles from Delhi and 15 kilometers 9.3 miles from Gurgaon on the Gurgaon Farak Nagar Road. Topic: Image Gallery. equals equals see also.